June 1st, 2018, spring season in Ontario, Canada with Bear Track Outfitters. It's the second day. I didn't hunt yesterday because I filmed my dad do a spot and stalk on a bear over a bait that didn't have a blind set up on it. And uh, dad ended up getting a really nice bear, but he hit it back just a touch, so we wanted to give it plenty of time. So I just um, waited, held tight, and we went and recovered that bear about probably six o'clock that afternoon it was getting kind of late so i just decided to hold tight today i helped dacia kilinowski recover her bear before that it was justin mitchell he killed a really big boar just a monster he had hit that last night too so it's been a late night and a um, busy morning now it's about 2 p.m in the afternoon we've got a really good bait here it's called pools it's been very active he's got a lot of bear pictures on it. I hunted it last year and I passed up a couple of nice bears so I'm really looking forward to tonight. I love it up in northern Ontario at Bear Track Outfitters. We've been here several years. We got a great group again this year and we're just going to keep right on rolling. Hopefully we're going to get a bunch more bears on the ground. See what happens. Several hours into my sit this bear shows up but I decide to pass as I'm looking for something a little bigger. A couple hours later this bear shows up and after looking him over closely in my binoculars I decide I'm going to shoot this bear if he gives me the chance. He never gives me a good shot opportunity and eventually ends up working away behind the bait. Approximately an hour later, this huge boar shows up, and I am praying that he comes in to the bait. I can hear him thrashing behind the bait. I just hit a really nice bear. I think I caught a little bit of the shoulder. It took off and I didn't like my penetration, but I think it's good. I mean, I think it went in enough, but I didn't hear a moan. So I just slipped back to the tracker and here I am. I'm gonna head back to camp and we're gonna put a, formulate a plan, get a plan put together for recovery of this bear, probably more than likely, just wait till morning. So last night, right at the buzzer, this nice bear comes in, comes in here from my left, actually I could see him out one of my screened windows, ends up coming in through here, goes around the bait, and he comes in, and I shot him right next to the barrel, and he kind of went and ran around, went behind it, go over back, see if we can pick up the blood trail over by the barrel. So, oh there's blood right here, blood there. And there's blood there. There's blood. Look at the blood on that log right there. Oh, I just walked by this. Holy good lord. Look at that, there's the arrow. Well, that's good penetration if it got in up to there. Looks really good. 
knock still going. Right here, bud. Nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my lord, that's a beauty, man. Oh, that's a big bear. Look at that bear. Oh wow, big old boar. Oh, oh look, he's got the white. Part. I, I actually videoed this bear earlier, and then when he came in later, just the way that he came in, I couldn't see the um, I couldn't see the white markings on him, but. What a beautiful bear. Congrats, yeah. buddy. He's done another great bear tracks, outfitting bear, A1 archery hunting 365, no off season. Once again, in Ontario, Canada with bear track outfitters. Big thanks, huge thanks to Corey Hayward, Cody Kaluski, and Josh for all the great help again this spring. This is one of the best places, I'm telling you, you got to check this place out. We love it. I mean, this is only the second day and we already have most of our bear taken. Richard Musser got a bear last night, and guess what? Here this morning, we recover mine. We're looking good. We can't wait to get back here in the fall and again next spring. This is just such a great place. you got to check it out. Thanks so much, Corey Hayward and the whole gang at Bear Track Outfitters. We always have such a great time every time we come up to northern Ontario.